You're listening to It's Tricky with Raquel Harper. So what's tricky? What does that mean? Oh, let the camera roll. We got Gilly in the building. Yes, sir. Gilly the kid. Mm, the king now. I changed it because, you know, I was the kid for a long time. And then my kids got grown. So I was like, I can't keep going by that. Oh, see, so yeah, I, don't, I didn't know the name change <laughs> happened. You know what I'm saying? I still know you from the original. I know. But, you know, sometimes original get outdated. and You got to come with it. You got to switch it up sometimes. Okay, but did you switch it up on everything already? Or you just... Yeah, it's the king. I mean, I might be the kid on Twitter still. I might got to change it up. Yeah. Yeah. What's been going on, though? Oh, man, just working hard. Million dollars worth of game. Uh, okay, yeah, doing talk numbers. To me. <laughs> talk to me. Doing numbers. Yeah, we just working, you know, trying to, you know, add a little something to the culture. Yo, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, You came baby. so far, for real. Thank you, because they did have me. They had me work. They had me doing security at Ross right now. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> no. Nah. They did. They had me doing security at Ross right now. Oh, I worked you know, at Ross before. That was like my second job. Yeah, but uh, right. That was your second job. That ain't <laughs> what, like after you failed as a rapper. <laughs> that's a, that's, I wouldn't that's, say failed as two, a rapper. I'm just saying that's two different outlooks. I want to say, I know you from the uh, the rap world. But if I, I know you from when I go to Philly, yeah. I hit you up because Absolutely. you're one of the king of Philly. Okay. Mm -hmm, and I'd mm -hmm. be like, oh, where, where are we at with it? Like, where, where right. should I go? Where's the cracking at? Right. You know, so, and I know you from... The rap worlds. Right. I don't know the podcast world you, of you yet. I do right. watch, listen to those real shit because, I mean, who don't listen? That's what's up. It's Appreciate cracking. that. Like, you got to listen. Right. But, you know, anytime you're in the music industry and you go from that to having to get a regular job, you looked at it as, a, as you failed. You, but do you, what do you feel? I mean, I don't feel as though. I feel, I feel as though it got me from point A to point B. You know, my rap career was like Uber. You know, it was just taking me to a different destination. You know what I mean? I, it, it didn't take me to the destination that I wanted to go to, but it got me to where I needed to go to, you know, feed my family and do all the things that I wanted to do and not live a regular life, you know? But now, um, you know, come November, that deal is up. Uh-huh. That deal's going to be looking good, too. <laughs> it's going to be looking real good. <laughs> what's, the deal, what's the deal looking like? <laughs> Just say we gonna be throwing ones in the fireplace this winter to keep the house warm. <laughs> <laughs> you so big money's cracking. No, nah, I mean we work hard, so whatever we get come coming to us, we deserve it. You do deserve it, though. No, we work hard. You know, we bust our ass to give the youth game, and that's you know, God's intention, motivation, and education. I, I be calling certain people up and stuff, right? So I even called up Dirk and stuff. And, you know, I was talking to Dilla. I'm like, yo, what's up? You know, when is dirt coming um, at first, right? They're like, oh, well, you got to wait. You know what I'm saying? I have to, we got to do something with um, Gilly. And um, Wall said, oh, okay, yeah. Well, <laughs> well the dirt me. thing, you know, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of times in the, in, the, in the industry we are now, people be stuck on that old way shit. Whereas, though, like, we not doing no million dollars worth of game just for the record. Let me look in this camera. We don't do no fucking promo runs. Yeah. All right. If you think you're going to come to us and then leave here and go to Rock and then lead in, go to the Breakfast Club and then lead in, and go to Joe Buttons, then lead in, and go to Nori. Now you got eight fucking interviews out with the same fucking outfit on. We ain't, we cool on that shit. We don't want no parts of that shit. Yeah. I mean, you but feel what I'm saying? And, and what the artists don't understand is a lot of times that shit hurts you because if you got an album coming out and you don't want to and seen all these outlets, First of all, by the time you get to your third outlet, you don't even got the same energy no more. This this shit is a job. It's like, yeah. I'm just trying to get through right. this shit now. So if I'm a fan and I am want to engage with you and I punch your fucking name in and you come up and this week you got eight fucking interviews... If I click on the interview that was the least interesting, then that's my picture in my head of you. That yeah. nigga's boring. But see, you know, it's it really kills me, though, because a lot of... But with promo runs and everything, right, it'd be irking the shit out of me also because I'd be like, I just... Now you're talking about the same shit over and over again. Now right. what is the purpose of this? And when people come over here, I'd be expecting the same energy. I don't expect right. you to go do a thousand things because, baby, I done made you lit and I didn't help your ass out for a long time. Right. So that's where my sick is in it. Like you guys, you know what I'm saying, boom. But even for you, you know what I'm saying, like I talked to you when you were the rapper. Right. You. 
right. years ago. We're talking about like a good 10, the same years nigga, ago. right? Yeah. No, but still, still solid. Still, still solid, right? Yeah. Still, still the same. Still, still solid. The same energy. Still, if I need, you know, what I'm saying, that, hey, hit you up real quick. You'll right. still say where it's at. Right. Even you popping, not popping, whatever you want to say. But niggas can't say as far as not popping because even in when I go to Philly, though, you're still was good in the streets. Absolutely. I mean, I'm always going to be good. So even if it goes for the raw security, the you know, I'm just saying if it goes to the raw, <laughs> you know, say like a raw security situation, you know, you still knew where it was at. I'm always going to be good in the hood. And I still could drop your name and say, Gilly sent me here and I'm in the yeah. door, in yeah. the building. Well, you know, for me, my city know I've been through a lot. You know, my city is one of the, is one of the, the, the major cities that's really rooting for me because they like everything Gilly get. He deserved this shit. Yeah. That motherfucker put the work in when we seen a lot of motherfuckers fall off. Motherfuckers came out, they did 10 million copies, they ain't here no more. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers came out, did 5 million copies, they ain't here no more. It was motherfuckers who, when I was trying to get in the game, they was blackballing me. Now them niggas calling up asking for interviews. Mm. You know what I mean? Speak and they, they going to have to watch come November. They going to have to watch this 100 million go down, man. Yeah. You going to have to watch it, man. I ain't going nowhere, man. Hundred million. This is just the beginning. We talking networks. We talking TV shows. We talking. We talking some major shit that's about to go on in twenty twenty three. Yeah. Well, what, record what? labels. We talking. We talking some major shit that's about to go on in twenty twenty three. You know why? Because we got our pulse on the youth. Mm -hmm. We ain't competing with them. We want to eat with them. It's a difference. When all you old niggas want to bash him and put him down and be mad because them niggas ain't rapping how y'all was rapping and all that throwback Thursday shit. No, we said, you know what this is, youngin? They said, that's an arm. We said, no, it ain't, nigga. That's a wing. We gonna put you niggas up on that. Period. That's a win. Because I'm an OG, nigga. I'm not your homie, nigga. I'm your OG. I'm gonna tell you when you're wrong. I, I don't need no money from you and I'm gonna keep it all the way 100 what, what all the way you, solid with you. When, when do you get to be an OG? What, at what level is your I mean, OG? When you, when you an old nigga that's offering game. Yeah. See, a lot of these old ni niggas want to smoke weed with the young niggas. They want to chill with the young niggas. Fuck the same bitches the young niggas fuck. Wear the same Dior jackets the young niggas wearing with the big sneaks and all that goofy <laughs> shit. <laughs> that's, I'm not that's, competing that's, with these young niggas, man. The most of them, majority uh, of the rappers, though, I mean, well, if you're an old rapper, right, you kind of have to do that. I mean, I mean, when you are... But you're when, now in a different lane. What I'm saying, when I'm not even saying an old rapper, I'm saying an OG. An yeah. OG is somebody, okay, you could be a rapper, right? Mm -hmm. You got all the money, all the glitz, all the glamour, right? You got this, but you got a nigga that, that, that's with you, that's in your entourage, that he ain't got half the shit, not one hundredth of the shit that you got, but it's a level of respect there that at any time he can say, yo, man, get your ass in the car, man. Mm -hmm. The fuck are you doing, man? And it's a level of respect because he the OG. Yeah. He the, he the nigga that's most solid. Yeah. He the nigga that you know, he gonna give you the best advice that's for you. Mm -hmm. He ain't giving you no advice that's that's beneficial to him. He giving you all advice that's beneficial to you. Right. That's why a lot of that's why I tell these fathers, man, stay in your daughter life because a lot of times when you don't be in your daughter life, it's gonna be a man in your daughter life that's giving a game that's beneficial to him, and not beneficial to her. Well, of course. I mean, it depends. I mean, how you raise them is how they gonna be anyway. Absolutely. So. That's, well, that ain't always the truth, cause you, I, I, I've seen some kids that get raised in the suburbs and they want to be drug dealers. They want to be. They, and but they, what they, happened? Well, you know what? Yeah. Well, there's, some people there's just something... chase the life. They You're chase right. the excitement. I mean, when you think about it, sometimes yes, but sometimes, or or it could be that one little the drug dealer is giving them more game than what they got at home. Just because they're living in the suburb and the mm. drug dealer is showing them, okay, well, you you get this rock, you know what I'm saying, for this much, you get this pee for another thing, and you flip oh, it that okay. way. Okay, look how she talking. She done been around the block and you get that pee for, <laughs> she ain't want to say no numbers for, for 32 5. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. shit, man, you know, a lot of times, you know, at, at, with us, with million dollars worth of game, we just put the proof of concept out there because that's, when, once you get the proof of concept out there, Everybody want to buy into what you're selling. Yeah. A lot of motherfuckers want to, they, they, they want to try to accomplish too much or, or, or gain too much without the proof of concept. Mm -hmm. 
No, we always going to put the proof of concept out there. Even at the beginning of this year, we're going to take our own money. We could get money right now to start our um our our channel. Our, you feel what I'm saying? But no, no, no. We're going we gonna to do our deal. We're going to take our money. Yeah. And we're going to go sign other podcasts mm-hmm. out of our money because we're going to get the proof of concept. But then we're going to come back after we get X, Y, and Z, and W, and, and all of they shit up and running. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to come back and negotiate. What happened with you and Joe Budden in Versus? Whatever happened with that? No, I was just playing, man. I would never go Versus. I'm not I'm not even worthy enough to have a, a Versus. I don't feel as though. I don't feel as though I got a, a, a big enough shot to be able to have a Versus. That's just me keeping it real with myself. So, Why? You know, because, I mean, a lot of my shit was was secluded to, to, an, to a region, to an area. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Philadelphia, Delaware, Jersey. You know what I'm saying? All the small towns in around my area. So, you know, and I'm not holding on to no no, no throwback Thursday shit. I'm moving forward. You so know the what I'm rap saying? life, as far as yeah, that shit done for it's me. It's over. Yeah, that shit done. What if somebody said they need a couple bars? You know, say you still I mean, got I that ghost right. I always do that. You know, I always <laughs> got the butter to make the fiend stutter. Good, good. Give me another. <laughs> 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 yeah, me yeah, so. They talk about the bag. You're like, you know what? Well, I'm a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get on in barbecue baking real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I got so a few the, barbecue the flows bakes are still in me. Coming yeah, absolutely, my mouthpiece <laughs> is platinum in 111 countries. That's not going nowhere. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Talk no, that. Hey, look, talk that hey, shit. Look, he gonna steal that one right yeah. there. Look, look yeah. he was in his phone, right? He said. Yeah, no, but it is true, though. I mean, y'all are, I mean, it's, like I said, I will never stop giving props. I'll give you your flowers while you're here. Thank you, babe. I'll give you your flowers, you know, too, because you you doing it and you've been doing it. Period. Huh? But that's Especially that's when, how it being, goes. A, being a minority woman in the game. Yeah, trying. And, 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 and lasting. Yeah. Shit, it's, it, it could take a lot of fight and a lot of bark I mean, and bite to stay around. Yeah, well, bitches, I'm always with the smoke for all of those hoes. Hey, talk so, heavy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, real real talk, though, like, as far as um, you with rap, though, do you ever look back and say, like, I could have changed something that you've done, like, differently to make yourself become a way bigger rapper? No, a lot of the problem with me was I knew too much. Mm-hmm. You know, I was a street dude that went to a 95% white college, though. Mm-hmm. So it's not like I was just a knucklehead running around. I actually had sense. Yeah. And school was never an issue for me. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So it's kind of oxymoronic that I'm out, I was out here doing armed robberies and was in I actually got kicked out of college for armed robbery. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was on the front of the Daily News. It was a week before I was supposed to go back to college. It was on the front of the Daily News. That's how much the Philadelphia, did you get? That was the Philadelphia pay. I didn't get no time, but one. A, a no, no, no. I mean, how much money did you get? In the robbery? Yeah. I can't remember. That was August 22nd, 1996. One of my uh, best friends that got murdered during it. You know, rest in peace to Alan Bunch. You know what I mean? I'm always hold you down, brother. You already know. I ain't going to talk about that too much, though, because, you know, I get a real emotional when I talk about that day. So, but, uh, yeah, I lost a lot, you know, but that's when I started rapping. Yeah. And so then for you starting rapping, did you and um, Young Money ever fix your situation? I mean, we we never really had no situation, you know. I mean, he dissed me. I came back. I dissed him, you know, but it's just that I guess my diss is just taken way too serious. Like, when I, mm-hmm. when I diss a motherfucker, it's just like, have you talked to Mac Main or Wayne? Yeah, I or? just seen Wayne at, at uh, Jackson State University. Oh, did y'all holler at each other? Yeah, but no. <laughs> what, is <it? laughs> I mean, what does that mean? I, he yeah. looked up. I was in the doorway. <laughs> I said, what's up, man? He said. Uh-huh. Hit you? Oh, okay. And got the fuck out of there. Phew. Dang. Real talk. So well, I mean, I, it's not like. But it, but so that shows you though, at least something though, because it's a handshake. At I least. mean, Mac Main, you know, Mac stayed there, hollered, you know what I mean? Because we like, what's up, man? We trying to get him on the podcast, Mac. Like, hey, you know, man, we gotta discuss something. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, what the fuck do we gotta discuss, man? We sitting down, we having a conversation, man. We grown ass men, man. We not, we can't be possibly operating off some shit that happened in two thousand and four. 
2005. <laughs> I mean, are we? Are we? Are we operating off some shit that happened 17 years ago? Are you? No. Does it, but does Wayne feel that you are? No, he can't possibly feel that I am. <laughs> then why did no. he maybe? Because yeah. then he said you have to talk first, so then he probably wants no, to Mac straight. No, Mac said that. Wayne didn't say no, that. No, but so Mac, I can't. but Mac is Ma Wayne's mouthpiece. They're basically the same individual who comes in mouthpiece. I mean, though. I ain't man, we <laughs> was young, you know. What what people fail to realize is that Wayne shot at me first on problem solver. Mm -hmm. I never had an issue with no nigga ever in the music industry. Any yeah. Anybody I ever had an issue with, they did some shit to me first. Even with Cassidy. He said, how is he the king of Philly and I'm doing what I'm doing out here? He ain't even... That's how we got into it. I and you, never, and I you never, and Cassidy fixed it? Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's not no real trouble. It's not no real, it's just... Joe Buttons, Joe went on his podcast and talked about me. I didn't, I don't talk about niggas. Yeah. What I look like talking about niggas. Well, if I'm talking about you, I'm playing around. It's a joke. And you clearly see that it's a joke. Like the shit with Wiz Khalifa. That was a fucking joke. Well, he got your face shut down, right? You know, I say, but. That this, wasn't too much of a joke. This is what's sad about it. I say. Today I had to unfollow one of my brothers, man. I said, I love you, man. <laughs> you a legend. Okay. This a Pennsylvania thing. Yeah. Philly to Pittsburgh. Uh-huh. I said all of this great shit. Yeah. And the only thing I said was, but I can't keep coming down my timeline seeing you in your draws, man. And it's the dun to dunce. I can't but... keep seeing eight balls in the corner pocket. <laughs> out of, now, yeah, I mean, them shorts of, is a little wild. Let me tell you something. <laughs> out of anybody on planet Earth, man, yeah, that I thought would be able to take a joke, would be with. It would be the nigga who laugh and smoke weed all day. Yeah. You think Wiz is it? I mean, you know, well, Wiz is a solid dude normally because his mama yeah. is OG you, you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, so for me, it was just like, bro, I'm fucking playing. Everybody know I'm playing. Like, are you serious? But he said you're childish. And so... I mean, shout out to him, man, because at the end of the day, I still don't have no issue with him. So then... I can't have an issue with a nigga that I don't got an issue with. Yeah, so are you guys going to fix it then? Yeah, it, well, it's nothing to fix. I it don't got an issue. It is... Really? I told you to put some shorts on. <laughs> what we, what we, <laughs> what no. grown ass man, <laughs> straight man, wanna wanna scroll down and see a man in his drawers doing some squats, no. and then and <laughs> then not doing and squat. then at the top no. of the squat, you <laughs> sucked it in like a woman, like you know how they trying to get all. Okay, the, I don't want to see that. That's all I was saying. I mean, bro. well, he was wearing his little his chicks. No. And, it, and it's some and some guys out okay. there that they do want to see that. I was just joking, saying I don't want to see it. I know, and it was but, a joke. That's but all it was. But he's very sensitive about his twi condo or whatever. But, the, but what you is, can't. But you doing? can't. Let me tell you something. If 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 I'm confident enough to come on social media giving up dick and ass action. What do you mean you giving up dick and ass? action? I mean it's nothing but <laughs> dick and ass right here. <laughs> If I'm that confident, <laughs> I also have to be confident enough for somebody to say something. Yeah. Because I'm in my draws, bro. I mean, he does wear the, the dun dun dance all uh, the time. You feel I, what I I'm say, saying? No, he does so do that. So for me, but he that was the, the fact that you felt some type of way was just some of the most craziest shit I ever heard. Him. It's like, it's like, bro, you come on in your draws. But it, those are his draws, Gilly. Right, but I'm, so I'm figured he would be confident enough to be like, I, I don't give a <laughs> fuck what nobody say, but obviously no, he, he, he wasn't. So, you know, I, and my whole thing is, uh -huh. bro, you could have just called me. And I would have said, damn, bro, I didn't think in a million years you was going to take it personal. I apologize, bro. I'm taking it down right now. If, if it make you feel better, I'll do an apology video. Because... This was not meant to be taken that way. So why didn't you just call him and say that? 
No, 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 no. By the time I even knew he felt some type of way, he had put up a whole video like I was bullying him. Yeah. So then after that, he said that he you're I told, bullying I did him. talk to him. No, then you called him. Yeah, we did talk. And then he says, yo, you got me messed up. Like, what was the conversation? No, he said he didn't, you know, he said he, 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 I'm not a joke, Gilly. I don't like to be laughed at. I'm not a joke, Wallow. I don't like to be laughed at. Mm-mm. So it was like, all right, bro. Like, cool. Like, all right. Yeah. So then you, you know say, I, mean? I apologize. No, I didn't say I apologize. That didn't come out of my mouth. So then what was the purpose of the conversation then? I mean, to, to, to express that, bro, it was a joke, bro. It, I was playing. It was a but joke. But I know, but with his point, though, and he was saying it's a joke, and then at the next, you guys have a conversation. He makes a video up. He's hot at you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't all care that nothing stuff. about that. That's emotional shit. I leave that emotional shit to the women and the kids. I don't care. I don't care about no, you, you being emotional. No, but men are allowed to be have emotions though. Uh, You're uh, you, you know what I mean? Niggas in jail because they acted off of emotions. A lot, but you know what I mean? Niggas come in. You, they, man, they woman got a dick in their mouth, and they done they done killed everybody in the house. Knocked the fish tank over. Yeah. Killed the dog. Now they doing a thousand years but, because they acted out of emotion. Yes, but men are allowed to be have emotions. Yeah, though. when I'm with my wife. No, not even with your wife. You can publicly have emotions I ain't too and express like yourself. Like that. I'm not really that emotional like that. But maybe, like, but you I, hold Joe's in. I'm a person that. I'm a person that I post shit on Instagram and social media for people to talk about me as a joke. I don't look like this person. Ah, yes, you do. Got oh, no, no, no. I mean, they do be, I don't, eat, they do be I, eating I don't you up. I don't get emotional. That should be funny as hell, but. <laughs> Because at the end of the day, I'm a person that truly don't give a fuck what nobody think about me. I truly don't give a fuck. You got to be cut from a different cloth for a motherfucker who did the truly Everybody not give gives a, fuck. a little bit of fuck. No, I don't. You'll give a fuck about what two say about okay. your wife. Prime example. Yeah. Two know me. Mm-hmm. Two is a part of my everyday life. Yeah, so you care about what you well, give a fuck to just you give a fuck to their certain people then the, only. Uh, what I'm saying is people give a fuck to people's opinions and what they think. And and a motherfucker don't even know you. Yeah. I see people get frustrated about Instagram comments. Mm-hmm. The fuck are you mad about with somebody? This could be a 16-year-old fucking boy in Nova Scotia. What the <laughs> fuck would you give a fuck about what he's it got to say? Well, if you do, it depends if you know the bitch or not. So, no. It depends on if you have a, a certain uh, value in my life. I'm pretty sure I got family members right now that think I'm supposed to break them off with some of this bread and I ain't shit. Guess what? Well, I ain't shit then. Nigga, you keep <laughs> no. saying I ain't shit for where you at. No, they gonna so say, I no. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> then you don't fuck my with your family. My mama ain't saying I ain't shit. <laughs> my five kids ain't saying I'm not shit. <laughs> okay, because they get my the money. My wife ain't saying I'm not shit. My mother-in-law is not saying I'm not shit. <laughs> so you you're just me? selective. I don't give a fuck about my second and third cousins and, and, <laughs> and aunts. And I, Why I don't, don't you owe give you a fuck niggas about them? nothing. What are you uh, they, about? They, Only thing yeah, I said, owe you niggas is to show up to the family reunion. Yeah, and they, they want, want you, you to pay for it. Shit, I wish I ain't been paying for it. Er, er, <laughs> and you were in charge of the bill because you the one who made it now. I could do that shit. I could yeah. take it how much it was. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. good. We we ain't selling plates this year because he has asked to take care of it. We ain't never been selling plates. We always going to make it happen. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but out of the making it happen, you the happening now, the family. All right, cool. <laughs> Shit, I, I can pay, I'll pay for the for the family reunion. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and the picture booth and the, you know what I'm saying, and the just, t-shirts. Just don't start no new shit. Yeah, and the t-shirts. Long, long as we yeah. having it at Fairmount Park <laughs> like it always was. Long as we having it in the park with the grill. Don't start yeah. no new shit now. Now the family reunion is yeah. in the Bahamas and yeah. all this shit. And it's all I got exclusive. the fly 80 motherfuckers yeah. out. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's still in Fairmount Park. It ain't at Fairmount Where no Grandma more. Grandma Rose used to have it. Rest in peace, Grandma. <laughs> we ain't changing up no tradition. We changing up all the shit. And we still getting hot dogs and hamburgers. You crazy as hell. And cheap ass day sodas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they're not doing the, uh, shot. they're not drinking shots this year. They're drinking Sprite and Coke. No, you know? no, shit. We gonna have sprinkled in. We gonna get a case of Cokes, a case of Sprites, four cases of yeah. these. Yeah, we need to cheap And fuck the hot dogs. We doing lobster and 
fake. Oh, no, we're not. Shit. Yeah. Because Aunt Betty said so. <laughs> yeah. But that, that's some typical black people shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't gilly pan for it. We doing lobster this <laughs> we show sure is. And guess what? He's got big money. You know, his rich, rich. You seen that hundred million dollar show? The hundred million I, it million dollars yet. worth of it ain't million, here yet. Yeah. He, million dollars. So that means he has he has big millions. Lord it, have mercy. It ain't get here yet. <laughs> and and I don't know if it's gonna be a hundred. I'm just I like the manifest shit. I like the, yeah, no, they like said the no, they, they heard like did you hear into that? existence. Did yeah, you hear him? Come on, it's tricky. He said it's a hundred million. Lord 100, have mercy. Uh, how we much didn't y'all hit the lot. Yeah. This is better a than a scratcher. Million dollar cash. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna say this is better than a scratcher. We don't scratch gilly ass. <laughs> Listen, man. But we work for it though. No, for real though, real shit though. We oh, wait, anyways, wait, real quick though, we have to go back to Wiz though. So you guys have a phone conversation. After the phone conversation, you don't apologize. And then from that point forward... I mean, it really didn't get to an apology type of situation. But you know when I mean? your when your page get shut down? Right after? Yeah. Right after he put up the bullying video. My page got shut down. Okay. And then you mm -hmm. get your page back. How do you get your page back? You wrote and said sorry? It's like... I'm a big fucking deal out here. This ain't 2012. This ain't fucking black and yellow. <laughs> the fuck you be I get my page back. Because uh, I, uh, yeah. I'm somebody out here in 2020. <laughs> yeah. They say, hey, but still, bullying is bullying. Uh, and they say, Don uh, look, Donald Trump was allegedly a big deal and his shit got shut down permanently. Like, it, <laughs> Trump ain't make the right calls. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Hit me, Trump. I got you. Need your shit back. <laughs> no, but I mean, a lot of. Shout out to my family, though, over at Facebook. They knew it was a joke. Yeah. They didn't agree with that shit. Mm hmm You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you got people on the inside like, no, you do too much for the fucking community mm -hmm. for your page to be taken over a joke over some shit that the whole world, even the person who you was talking to knew you was playing around, give us 48 hours. You don't Damn. know no motherfucking body page got deactivated and back up in 48 hours. Hell nah. In the first 48. Yeah, I mean... Gilly's page was deactivated your shit's, yeah. when they shot a bullet through I it. I went and I followed your new but page. But they resuscitated them and brought them <laughs> back in the first 48. I went, I, I went and followed your new page quick. I was like, fuck but, it. <laughs> then that fucked them up because they was like, wait, this nigga got 350,000 new followers. In 48 hours. In 48 hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like a boosty situation. A lot of people fuck with me, yeah. you know? <laughs> I'm kind it, of a big deal, I, I huh? I do it for the youth, you yeah, know what I'm I mean? I'm kind of a I'm big a, deal. Uh, like, yeah. you know, I'm holding this shit down for the youth, for the owners of tomorrow, the people that really care, the people that's really doing something. I mean, <laughs> I do fucking matter out here. Like, I work my ass off to be somebody, you know, I ain't trying to be you know, the biggest, but I am somebody. You, you know, said, fuck it, I'm somebody. When I walk in the room now, I go on tour. I can go on tour and I can sell out shows. I mean, we are doing podcast tours. I mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for real. I mean, Nashville the 21st, uh, <laughs> Charlotte the 22nd. Yeah. Look, but um, shout out to New York. Held us down. Shout out to L.A. L.A. actually was our worst venue. I just want to just put that out there. Why? Because. You know how many people they turned down at the door for not having a vaccination card and, and yeah, not yeah. having a 48-hour COVID thing? That yeah. was, that killed us. Oh, they didn't know how to write it up one then, huh? Oh, no, they, see, they, you know. <laughs> we all just got I, little people coming to see us. <laughs> Shit, you crazy, like, okay, the others, the others were probably like, you're right, I don't have a test, but the black folks like, shit, I got mine, but, and, and I got the know. card, 250 on the low. Quick, in there. <laughs> it got in there, but, you know, that was L.A., man. That was our worst venue. It was still a great show, though. Great great energy, but we was we was a little... You came out um, first show, Kanye. Yeah, that was my birthday party, yeah. First show, yeah. We said, we did it at the Met. The Met holds 3,600 uh, people. We sold the Met out, right? But as a surprise, we brought out Fabulous. yeah. We brought out Jada Kiss. We brought out Beans, uh, Freeway. Oh, Philly's in the building. Uh, B. Simone. Mm-hmm. Junebug. Yeah. Uh, so we sold 3,600 hard tickets just on us. Mm-hmm. 
And then when they got there, we brought all of these people out. So Poppin'. then when we said, this next person we bringing out is the biggest nigga in the world. That shit was funny. You done came out with a red suit. And, and yeah, Wallow took done. his Yeezy off. I'm going to give y'all, I'm going to give y'all a little, what? little tip. Threw his Yeezy in the air. They started going crazy. <laughs> God, <yeah. laughs> you want to know no, what's so it, crazy? No, it went crazy on social too. I was looking at it. I said, this shit, this nigga crazy. Because when I first walked out with the red shit on, he had just had it on three yeah, days ago. he did. When I walked at out with concert. the red shit on, they thought I was Kanye. They got loud. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, but even in the video, right? I had to look at the video twice and shit until you took out there. I'm like, what the fuck? Gilly done pulled Kanye? <laughs> then I'm like, I was confused. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, shit. You really pulled it off. That shit Yo, was cracking. I know. They they And then then what was so crazy was Vori seen it and he hit Ye up. Yeah. With me standing on stage in a red outfit and said, Damn, man, I ain't know you was in Philly tonight with the, with the crying faces. <laughs> Kanye hit him back and said, iconic. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was iconic. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I, mean? I got to be easy for a night. That shit was iconic. You yeah. Hear me? I came out of the... Over that my shit was, face. hey, you did. You did great. I'm not gonna lie. You had me fooled on social too. I was looking, I'm like, God how long damn. was you fooled for about the first 15 seconds that you said, that's this mother? Yeah, know how your walk, you know? <laughs> your walk, you know, you, you didn't have to walk all the way down pat. <laughs> and then I dropped down to my knees, looked yeah. up at the sky, did all this <laughs> dumb ass shit. <laughs> yeah, that's your, your walk though gave it away. And like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, okay. And probably the fact that I probably was like 30 pounds lighter might have gave it away too. Well, the video would look for a little far for distance. I did, I did, I did. But what was I, gonna I was going to tell you something about, um, oh, what do you feel about Pete um, and Kim's relationship as far as, you know, Pete just got his initials, you know, Kim allegedly got Kim's kid's name on him? I mean, I don't really think nothing, man. I think, you know, I just... Well, you break up with... You you and your wife break up. The next man goes ahead. They're dating a couple months. He gets your kids' names on him. Oh, see, but my kid's grown. So my son... And my son been boxing. It's all here. Fucking tight games <laughs> you playing, man. Fuck y'all. I don't even know you like that, man. Fuck you get my name on you, man. Yeah. Stop playing me, man. You trying to be funny towards my dad, man? Because I beat you the fuck up. See, I got... My kids got a little bit of me in them. Yeah. And they know how to throw them hands. Oh, quick hands. So they, she, my two to have a problem with. The, but do you think that he's trying to troll Kanye by it? I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just keeping it real. I'm not speaking on Kanye or Pete Davidson's, but, but once I'm out of a situation with you, I don't give a fuck who laying you down and spraying you down. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck who ejaculating and evacuating. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Because so you, <laughs> guess what I'm going to be over here doing? Blazing a bitch, you yeah. hear me? I'm gonna be blazing the <laughs> shit out, of fucking the leather off her jacket. No, but if, if 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 too though, she went and got another piece real quick though. And if you guys broke up seriously though, and someone got like only a couple months gets the names on them, I know you may give them a little like side eye, like alright, bro. No, I'm gonna be like, dude, he's another ass nigga. What the fuck, he doing get my kid's name tattooed on too, though, nigga. <laughs> 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 He's, he's a fucking loser. Like, yeah. <laughs> the fuck are you doing out here, man? My kids is fucking grown. My youngest is about to be a senior in college. She's going to be like, Mom, he's a fucking weirdo. He just got my name tattooed on him. I don't even know Mr. Henry like that. Like, what is going on with this dude? Like, so, you know, it's a little different for, for me, you know, my situation. And then at the end of the day, like you said, me and Toot break up. Once we break up, I don't give a fuck. Once we come to a point where we look each other in the eyes and we come to an agreement that, okay, we're no longer going to be together. That means uh, you just, you're just uh, just Mr. Loose Dick then from that point forward. Oh, shit. I'm Hugh Hefner. You hear me? <laughs> come get this dick. Hey. Come get this dick. Hey. I'm going at the, I mean, <laughs> come on, man. I've been with my wife for fucking 24 years. After this, you think I'm getting in a relationship? 24 mm, years, No, though, I'm pistol a... beating bitches with a dick. Yeah. <laughs> but 20... What's that? That's my dick. <laughs> 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 you think I'm going right back into a relationship? Would you ever get no. married again? I'm going back. Fuck no. I'm going back to stripping. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm going back to being a stripper. I call you, call you uh, Gilly. Uh, Gilly. No, um, no, no. You know me and Wallow used to be strippers back in the day. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, 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 I was saw Firecracker. That. Yeah, yeah, Firecracker. Okay, Mr. Firecracker. He was TTD. You know what? I'm over you. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. That used to be my name, Firecracker. Firecracker. Okay, Gilly Firecracker Dick. No, because I'm no, because I'm, no, I'm little with a big boom. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Okay. So, Everybody so, says right, they have a big boob. Yeah, right, you know, every, every dude, you know what I'm saying? How's your dick piece? Oh, I have a big boob. Hey, you, like, you, yeah, okay. you, you don't keep no woman for 24 years. You ain't hit yeah. the back of that oven. I'm just... <laughs> I mean, too, like, she's been around for a long time. Hey, she's been around for a long time. You hear me? Yeah, ups and downs. You're putting that, you, 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 you're putting that, whack, that whack dick in. Trust me, they don't stay there long. Yeah, um... They well, don't stay that long. Well, now you're, but now you're, you're, you're popping. They though, be so. suffering from depression and shit. No, but yeah. <laughs> er, most people would say though. Now, if you're, you got Brett in the bag. No, no, no. Me, two been to jail with me. No, but you of know course. we went to jail in 2007. <laughs> yeah. My wife was locked up for ten days. But she's a different type of down. Right. So you would never leave her, anyways. No, no, shit. You can't. I go. I went home and caught a nigga in my bed. I'm out. She mean, I would never leave for certain circumstances. Like, I'm but never leaving over no regular shit. But <laughs> like, I'm just saying, if he, if, if, no, I just said it. She said it was an accident. Well, shit. Or, or he accidentally <laughs> fell in his dick <laughs> one in your mouth. What yeah. do you mean? Or he accidentally <laughs> slipped into your vagina. No, no she said, like, I was shit. drunk. I came, I went, it, was, it got a little tricky. Oh, shit. And then, so that means you got. <laughs> you got old tendencies. You get drunk and get loosey goosey, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you, you get a little alcohol in you. Yeah. Then, and then anything's possible, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm gone. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> like we we'll say, see ya. She'll tell you, you apologize. You'll no, have a heart broken and then no, you'll get over it. No, no, yeah. because let me tell you something. If you got a woman that's worth anything, she's she ain't doing no one night stands. Ain't no such thing as getting drunk and, and getting taken advantage of. No, no, no. So when she cheat, the person she cheating with, yeah. Oh, she in deep with this nigga. They done spent long <laughs> nights on the phone. She but done, if they if she cheated though, wait. She done told this nigga all the bad shit about but me listen, because she's trying to justify why she's ready to give him some vagina no, but, and still be Okay, married. wait, no, Gilly, I have a question, right? She don't want to be it's looked 20, at as no, a whore. No, 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 no. So they tell, oh, I'm just so tired of him coming in late <laughs> and treating me like this. Okay, listen. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. No, listen, though. We're, this is serious, though, right? You've been together for 24 years, though, right? I'm just saying, at some point, as she says, right, she looks at you and says, you know what? Um... I'm really just tired of your dick. I'm ready for some new young dick. Just, just I just want to try it one time. Uh, I, would, I would be like, I understand. Yeah, yeah. this dick 27,841 times. You know what I'm saying? You should be tired of this dick. I understand. When you said you want enough a new dick? Yeah. And she just wants some new dick real okay, quick. Okay, well, come on. We're going to go to condemnation and get you a new dick. Pick out the side. Get you a big one to vibrate, too. You hear me? We, we'll get your dick with a motor if that's what you need. <laughs> <laughs> you are fucking Get her the dick with the 6D batteries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she wants she wants a live one. <laughs> oh, no, 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 shit. <laughs> well, guess, guess what she She's don't want to do? live and five. She don't want to be fucking married no more. Okay, let's put these divorce papers in. <laughs> you hear me? Let's get this shit right right now. Come on, let's make sure we put, well, when we say why we get a divorce, because you want a live young dick. Let's make sure we, let's make sure we, when they break it down this paper. Yeah. They, you know, didn't say on they the paper. put it on me. No, she'll you know tell I mean? you. No, Guess no, what? Let's, 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 no. So it just, so you basically, for relationship wise though, you guys don't ever feel like doing swingering or nothing? You never feel like doing those type of parties? <laughs> Fuck no. You think I want to lay there and watch another nigga blaze my woman? No. She fuck around making sounds she don't make with me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Nigga, get off my woman. Oh, so it's no open, no what? open nothing, huh? Come on, man. She, she'll crush your heart. She makes a noise she don't make with you. Oh, shit. Oh my God! She started calling out for all the guys. Jesus and Allah. Wait, hold on. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> you never said that shit with me. She did it. No. She did it, and he hit her G spot different. <clears throat> it's been twenty something years. She said he. Nah, he that'll, hit it. that'll fuck with my. That'll fuck with my my uh. 
my ego too much. Oh, so I mean, everybody, different people say different things in their ego. I'm actually reading DJ. So Envy's, you in a relationship? So DJ Envy letting niggas blaze his wife? No, no, no. I was reading. Um, like I just been reading DJ Envy's. I just started oh. reading his book, but I, I, his wife though said that DJ Envy though wasn't like hitting it. Based, she didn't have no orgasms with him for like the first couple of years or something like that. She said in their interview. No, I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> yeah, so it too comes up here saying, you know what I'm saying? She, she it's you know? As <laughs> uh, much as she can't stop that motherfucking right leg from shaking, she ain't saying no <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> Motherfucker, they usually don't yeah. be acting like yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, but Tyrone told me he go see two later on. And he said that. <laughs> He said he want his test again. Tyrone Gilly. ain't Tyrone. On the, he don't know the angles. Yeah. <laughs> she said she's gonna call him. Okay. Yeah, man, I ain't worrying about that. Yeah, I mean, because <laughs> let me tell you something. If somebody took my woman, you gotta. <laughs> you gotta. You, you win. Got, you, you won. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> arguing. You won. I'm not going to jail about the woman. I lay you to death. I shed a couple tears. <laughs> you know. To yourself. Yeah. Not on the show. <gasps> No, yeah, not on the show. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you gonna you and Wallow, you, you gonna be calling call, up, tell call you Wallow. Call you a bunch of whores uh, <laughs> and the real bitch. Uh, uh, you ain't shit, you fucking bad. On the show, trying to act like you G about it. Ah, on the show, man, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Lying ass. You the damn show do. <laughs> fuck her. Yeah. Good shit. I was I was ready to get over it any goddamn way. Shit, you right. How'd you know? You motherfucker on the, on the texting. I you, love you, baby, please. Well, you did that. I ain't doing no texting. That's one thing about me. Yeah, man, a, let me listen, tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Once another nigga sex you, I won't text you. Yeah, you ain't got to worry about that. Okay, listen, well, pimp and talk. Shit. Okay, once yeah, another shit. nigga, listen, shit. Once another nigga bleeds you. But why? But but in general, though, why? No, this a new. It's a new age now. I guess well, they say like that's what well, happens. We, well, we I'm 45 and she 42. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we throwback <laughs> niggas. What are you talking about? New age. <laughs> For what she talking about? <laughs> Trying to tell your grandmother that it's a new age. Let Pop Pop get some pussy. Yeah. What? <laughs> you think your grandma trying to teach you use a little whore? Yeah. See, that's your problem. <laughs> your yeah. grandma ain't trying that shit. But that shit, they had that video of you though when they thought that one guy people be sending the videos. You said, "Oh, that nigga literally really look like me." Yeah, that that one, nigga did. I had well, me yeah, fooled. Yeah, you said. <laughs> she said she gonna fucking choke me. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that fucked me up. They always send people that look like me. I post it, but the one motherfucker I had to look. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, we called Gilly dancing with the chick. What the fuck? Yeah, that shit that was That nigga looked too much like me. Yeah. Fuck was I had <laughs> And then dancing with the bitch. She on the, at home like this motherfucker. He, <laughs> wait till this nigga get here. <laughs> but shit, that's a part of life, man. I got I'm, 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 I got a lot of features that other people got, man. Um, you um for your. Jay Z, the sorry not sorry versus you before. Do you apologize about what you said? What you mean for the sorry not sorry? You said it was corny before or something like. No, I don't. First of all, Jay Z is an amazing artist. Yeah. All right. It was just my opinion. Like when I when when you get excited about hearing some new hove, it's like, mm -hmm. nigga. Yeah. It's about to be. Some shit. Yeah. All I'm saying is that wasn't it. That's all. Did he ever come at you about that? No, why would he come at me about that? Bro, Hove, when Hove listened back to it, he knew that wasn't prime, Hove. That Hove served you that shit that come with the truffle butter, man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when, when Hove get done serving, when he get done talking that shit, you feel like he make a square nigga feel like he want to go sell some drugs, man. Who's the new Hove? What you mean? You know who the new Hove is? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> I'm Dirky over of Chicago. It's Jay Z. <laughs> yeah, but you know who the new Hove is? You think so? Yes, to the young street niggas. Yes, mm -hmm. because see, Hove was about, you know, being a hustler, being a, getting some money, getting the, you know, and that was the wave when we was young niggas. Yeah. We didn't look up to the shooters. The shooters was crash dummies. The sh if you was a shooter, you was a nigga who life didn't mean that much. We didn't value your life. You was a goofy. 
Mm -hmm. We didn't matter if you went to jail because you're going to die or go to jail anyway soon. You's a goofy. Well, now they're praising shooters. Now the shooters get praised. Mm -hmm. A a nigga could have some bodies and not have no money and be popular. It's like, wait, that nigga don't... That nigga just got a $600 rusty gun. Like, what the fuck is me praising him about? It's different. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But in the drill... This shit is about the drilling era now. And Dirk is the king of that shit. You know? It started off with Keith Cheek, Chief Keith, but Dirk took that shit over, man. I mean, Chief Keith. I'm, I mean, I wonder why though Chief Keith hasn't let Dirk take it over. I mean, Chief Keith ain't really been dropping no music like that, though, right? I haven't known him to been dropping no music like that. Mm, I think he dropped something recently. Oh, he did. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we've been trying to get him on a motherfucking podcast too, you know. Yeah, I mean, me too. I told his uncle Zoe. To put him on the damn show. I mean, Chief Keith lives only up the street. I'm going to that nigga house when I leave here. He live up the street. Like, I mean, not up the street. Like, he lives in the valley, yeah. Oh, oh, all right. So, I mean, you're going that way. Oh, am I? Yeah. Oh. When, you, when you head to your next location? Yeah. Yeah, but if you tell him, you know what I'm saying? You need to stop through there. Come on, nigga. Get on the podcast. What you doing, Chief? <laughs> who, who hasn't done the podcast that you wanted to do the podcast? Uh, So far, Trick. Um, Drake hasn't done it. Why? I mean, we setting it up now. Mm. You know what I mean. So, you know, uh, but Drake don't really do that many interviews. So, you know, um, yeah, you get Drake. Wayne, I have to get his daddy. Wayne. Mm-hmm. Um, LeBron James. Uh, Steph Curry, Ja Morant. Oh, so you have a whole loss. Yeah. Um, Is there anybody that's banned from the podcast? No, I think no. We we turn down more interviews than we than we accept, you know, because everybody's trying to get on our shit. But if if you if you not if you not a a, a a young artist that's popping or that that we feel as though we could put some flame on you, yeah, and help you take your shit to the next level like a poo shiesty like a you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying like a and at the same time give you some game then you got to be somebody that's giving out the game like a floyd mayweather like a shaquille o'neal like a Deion sanders they that that's the type of old people we older people we get yeah people that's legends and that can give you a lot of game in a lot of different areas and they express themselves well you feel what i'm saying so for us that are we we target the youth and our podcast is about the youth, but we also get the legends. Yeah. If you were born legend, we don't want you. Mm-hmm. We don't want no born legends. We ain't this this ain't that and that ain't this. You know what I mean? But everybody you get though, like you just they have to be cracking basically now, because you're to that level. I mean, it ain't necessarily cracking, but it is all is a value exchange. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? If 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 you ain't bringing no value to what we got going on, then if our fan base don't really want to hear from you, then what's the fucking point? Mm. Is there anybody that you guys had that was just like fucking lame and was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? This is a boring ass interview? No. I mean, yeah, we had a couple, but but like we had, we had okay, prime example, we had a, 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 a bunch of interviews that they might, that went viral online, <laughs> But they might didn't get the most views. But the effect that they shit had online yeah. was like they did a million views. I you had feel that, what I'm saying? I had an interview before. I know what you're saying. Like I, I interviewed like Money Bag Yo before. And um, like this is when Money Bag Yo wasn't like that nigga. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like wasn't doing crazy numbers in the show. So his managers hit me up and stuff. They're like, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, look out, like, okay, money back, yo. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I'm like, I didn't know really who the fuck Money Back Yo was then. So I'm asking a lot of questions. I'm just like, you know, really seeking him and shit, just seeing, you know, I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. he from Memphis, like he up and coming. All right, fuck it. Let's just rock with it, right? I put that bitch on line. It went fucking berserk. Yeah. I'm like, well, f- I guess Money Back Yo's that nigga. Like, right. what the fuck? Right. So that's how like some people, you know what I'm saying? Right. So you really don't really know. Right. Like you, like we had certain interviews that might have a million that week and we got certain interviews that might have 350 400,000 that week like a little yachty interview 
it did might have did three hundred thousand, but the effect that it had online and Little how, Yachty goes crazy. And how many websites reposted that shit. Yeah. And, and the clips that we was posting, that shit was unbelievable. No, your little Yachty, my my little Yachty interview to this day still goes trending. But you know, I He's a I, solid I'm, kid, man. I, I messed up, you know, like I feel bad though because I'm the reason why he got blocked by Nicki Minaj. Because I asked him the wrong questions. Mm. And he answered in the, the wrong manner. So it caused some shit. So I really feel bad about that interview. Yeah, but he's a solid, he's a solid. His mama's solid though. He's had a he's a solid foundation. His oh, mama's okay. super smart. His up. mama's Shout a boss. Out to Mama Yachty then. I never yeah. I don't think I ever met her, but she's a boss, boss. Like that kid's solid, man. Yeah, she knows she makes a lot of power moves <clears throat> for him. But shout out to Yachty. For you back to you though. So your next plans for you is doing a TV show. Like what's your yeah, next? Yeah, we got the TV show coming. We got the where's, your, label where's it coming, coming at? I'll let you guys know that come November. Is it a already signed deal? It's close to it. It's really close. What network? I don't want to say that either because if it doesn't go down, then we're going to come with another network. You know, we got offers from multiple networks. I mean, you signed a W, you know what I'm saying? So uh, <laughs> you, yeah. you, it goes crazy but now. But really, not really, you know? Mm. I'll talk to you about that after, you know. I thought, well, I thought that it would put you definitely in a different position. I mean, a lot of these places, do you know? Let me just say, anything we got, we make it happen. I'm going to just say that. I'm sure. Just like you made the show happen. Everything we get, we make it happen. So. Then why sign the contract? What? What contract? No, it's the WME. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> what contract? Was this an eat what you kill situation. Man, we too big to be signed with anybody. This mm. is eat what you kill. Yeah. You got to kill some shit, you eat with us. You don't kill shit, you don't eat. We yeah. kill every day. I every mean, day. You do Before kill every day. Before I came day. here, I was just on the phone closing a deal. Right before I came what here. What deal did you close before you came here? I'll tell you about that off of camera, too. Well, we can take it all on camera. We're here. The camera's yeah. rolling. Fuck no, it. No, no, no. We can tell you <laughs> we can about just that off on camera. camera. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why, but, why off camera? This bitch because is Because I'll, yeah. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why when we off camera. Yeah. You're going to be like, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> um, but we that's what we do. We kill shit so we can eat good. You mm. feel what I'm saying? How are you and Wack doing now? Y'all are, um... I mean, uh, Wack is Wack, man. I don't, I don't pay that shit no mind. Is it, like, what be going on? Like, y'all be seeming like... going on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been knowing Wack for 100 years. And I'd be like, you know, I'd be seeing, like, y'all be best friends. And I'd be like, okay, y'all be getting into it. I'd be like, what the fuck is going on with Gilly and Wack? I never got into it with Wack. Well, you guys be having heated discussions, but that's just Wack. Yeah, that's just, just, general. that's just how it that's goes. That's heated discussions, man. Yeah. That's that's the best podcast shit. I don't, <laughs> I don't Can um Six Nine ever come to your show? I mean, I Six Nine is out here, he doing him, you know. That's he doing him. You know, I'm doing me. <laughs> yeah. You know I mean? But can he come on or is he is is, is that does he not put I mean, the audience bill? I, I don't really think, you know. I think what he got going on with what he got going on and what I got going on with what I got going on. <laughs> You know, it's, it's over that way. I'm over this way, and we we solid like that. <laughs> so six nine, no, you can't come on the show to answer your question. <laughs> okay, fuck it. You know, let's not beat around the bush and shit. Let's just keep it fucking a million dollar worth of game. No, fuck I mean, it. Okay, just... let's just say a million dollars worth of truth. Fuck it. No, you can't come on. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we'll just pass. That's just, just keep it real. <laughs> fuck. You got us. Um, you've been very vocal about every goddamn thing else. Let's not stop the train now. Well, no, he can't. Then, all right, no, he. he exactly. I mean, we already know that he already tried to come on the show and he couldn't. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. But whatever he got going on. You know. Tawana told me she's gonna put me in a group text with him. I'm like, what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> she's oh, like, a okay. oh, group text. I said, yo, put me in a goddamn group text with shit. <laughs> like that's how you cross the motherfucking line. <laughs> I'm like, what does he want to talk about exactly? <laughs> She's mm -hmm. like, oh, he want to talk. I'm like, what you mean? Want to talk about what? <laughs> well, I think you know he got his lane with academics. You know what I mean? And 
and, I don't know. and whack, and you know, they got their thing going on over there, so he cool. <laughs> of course. He don't need a million dollars worth of game. <laughs> he just said that he he said he needs some game. Game. Literally. No, he don't need we don't need a million dollars worth of game. <laughs> and but, everybody knew Shoddy was my nigga, so you Yeah. Know what I mean? At Shoddy, you know, actually that's uh I used to deal with Shoddy, you know, when he Oh Shoddy used to blaze you? Oh no, nigga, you lost your goddamn mind. Oh, I'm just Hell saying, no. oh. She said I used <laughs> to deal with Shoddy. No, did she it, say no, that? he is sick in his head. No, did she blaze say, nothing. Did she say that? <laughs> Talking she about, said, I used to deal with, oh, okay, no, Shotty used to lay you down, spray no, you down. Ain't no, never. Rock top. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, you know what? Gilly's done today, okay? No, hell no. <laughs> oh, as soon, <laughs> soon as we talk about her getting blazed, she want to cancel the show. No goddamn we out of here. From here. No. We out of here. I have never got blazed for the record for Shotty. I'm talking about deal with him. She loved them like, gangsters, sorry. huh? Yeah, no. She telling on okay, herself. She loved them gangsters. Look at it. never. You listen, let's get this she motherfucking She clear. love them gangsters. I have never dealt with him. I never got blamed she by any nigga. She cried when Shotty got in. Oh, he is ah, sick in his fucking head. You know what? You crazy. For 40 years. Only I'm thing shy. I'm getting blazed by is my man at home. That's the only oh, thing okay. I'm blazed. I'm sorry. We ain't yes. gonna play no game. I'm sorry. Okay, I get Hold only blazed by Taco Mel. That's it. <laughs> you got a nigga named Taco Mel? Yeah, I do. And that's the one who's blazing me. Wait, that nigga must <laughs> love tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Mill. Yeah. <laughs> Why is his name Taco Mill? Uh, that's his restaurant, so they call him. He has oh, he has all okay, different okay, restaurants, okay, so they call okay. him that by the restaurant. Well, Taco Mill, I didn't even know you was a part of the situation. Oh, that's all the only so situation. I want to apologize for playing Taco <laughs> Mill. Yeah, yeah, that's a, baby. That's the only one who's blazing me. Yeah, period. Me. Okay. But, but yeah. is, is he had a little sauce no. on it. No. Yeah, he puts all my sauce on it. Okay, uh, he puts all. I get, I get all the flavors of dick. And Taco <laughs> Mill eating your ass out till you pass out. You know what? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for getting the kid. I appreciate you. Taco Bell will eat your ass out through your pants. Out. <laughs> I rock with Gilly. Long time, nigga. For real, I fuck with Because she want to end the show when we start talking yeah. about Taco Bell. Yeah, it's, an, it's yeah, been me. good. <laughs> Taco Bell. Gilly, that's enough. Arriba. <laughs> no, he's a nigga to nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Wait, he out here finessing Taco Bell <laughs> He coming up off the tacos He ain't even Mexican Taco Bell <laughs> You out here finessing Taco Bell Yo, I can't right now You fucking You, you know, it's hot as a motherfucker now But let me crazy. tell you something Shout out to you, man Shout out to Taco Bell I gotta come try that You, know you do, man? it's right up the street it's 43rd right. in Crenshaw There you go Hit it. Taco Mill ain't playing, too. Yeah. Taco Mill in a dangerous area. <laughs> Damn. What's that, the 40s? It's by the Slosses. It's near Crenshaw, so near there. Is it the That's the 40s, though, huh? Huh? Yeah, like, yeah. It, well, they really, his restaurant's really not like the 40s type of thing. It's more like Main Street Crenshaw, you know, like. But yeah, the 40 hood oh, over you, there. Oh, you got you a gangbanger? No, he's from Compton. She got an ex-gangbanger. No, he's oh, from Compton. He's not even from the 40s. Gang niggas, okay? don't she? <laughs> no, he's not even from 40s. Yeah, he's from Compton. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. he He's from Bompton, huh? No, no, nigga. I oh, said oh, Compton. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's how you... Now listen, that's, I just called her up. That's how you know your ex-gang member. You see how she took that you know, B? I put the B on it. She said, no, nigga. <laughs> I got, yeah. She said, "No, nigga, he from Compton." You're nigga, not throwing up the crib right that way. You know, let's say, let's get your fingers. Let's fix your fingers. <laughs> yo, yo, that's crazy. They all, hey, all, the, all the good girls out here fall for the gang member. Uh, he's but, not a gang member. He's an entrepreneur, nah, a businessman. The man man. in the back, you know, he back there shaking his head. Yeah, they do. He got her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you probably set his whole LLC up for him. We gonna call it Taco Mel. No, you know what? <laughs> he ain't know how to do none of that shit. All he knew how to do was stand like this. No, he's not a. He is yeah. a solid entrepreneur. Nigga, you ain't hard. Black man, boss man, all yeah, that shit. Yeah, all, all, all the niggas turn into that until he reach thirty five. <laughs> okay, you know what? Before he was that Taco Mel, he was little shoot 'em up. <laughs> you don't know, you don't know, little shoot 'em up. <laughs> Yeah. Nigga went to jail, came old Mel. Don't call me that no more, yeah. Mel. <laughs> call, call me Mel. Call me Mel for the Mel, man. No, Look. he is a good dude. He is. Yeah, real good dude. You supposed, to, you supposed to say that, Yeah, too. he's not in the mess at all. He's just... To uh, say that about me, but there's a bunch of people out here. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm -mm. No, he's... He the reason I walk like this. No. Yeah. <laughs> 
You're fucking crazy. Gilly, yo, <laughs> Gilly is really honestly a fucking mess, though. No, for I'm real. Sure. Shout out to Taco Mel, though, man, because I don't want to see you out in traffic and you black my fucking eyes for playing no. <laughs> around. And you that no. nigga that says shoddy. No, he, no, he know. You know what I'm saying? When I've asked you about one of the locations before in Philly, you told us to go to the fucking spot, whatever restaurant in Philly. Oh, he was with you? He was with me. Oh, okay. So if you would have showed up to the spot that you were too busy at the car working. place or whatever I, I you were working. doing, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Know, I, I, then you would have met him. Checks, baby. Yeah, 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 I'm CC. I'm check chasing, baby. Yeah. <laughs> You hear me, CC Sabathia. <laughs> he, you see, this nigga is crazy as well. You know what? Not even say the N-word because you're not supposed to say the N-word. Why? I mean, can, are you supposed to say the N-word technically? Shit, I'm a nigga. He's a nigga. She's a nigga. We <laughs> some niggas. When you like to be a nigga too? <laughs> that was my favorite no. album by MWA. Like. But you, but is it, but I mean, technically though, people are why you, not why? allowed to say the N-word because why? I guess like, I don't know, people feel uncomfortable, I guess, when you say Who? the N-word. I mean, shit, Cam, do you feel comfortable? Fuck no. Yeah. <laughs> Cam over there like Gilly, my nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> Cam like this, man. Gilly, my nigga. Fuck what yeah, y'all talking about. I mean, fuck there's, a white, there's, there's one person. Y'all say, yeah, Corey, I mean, what do you feel? She gonna, ask, she gonna ask one of the white people in the room, Cam, how do you feel? Like, I feel regular, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like said, oh, he made shit there. I can't wait yeah, me and my nigga go red. smoke one yeah. in a minute. <laughs> Y'all hear him rap this shit up so me and my nigga go. <laughs> Tell your feelings. <laughs> Corey back there like, man, nigga, yeah. please. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't. <laughs> you, know, well, you know they call me C Money on Crenshaw, yeah. right? <laughs> they don't call me Corey. Only yeah, yeah Corey ain't never been to Crenshaw. <laughs> and neither probably has Cam. <laughs> Cam been to Crenshaw. Cam, Cam, look, oh, I told yeah. you, look at it. Cam got the five o'clock shadow going on the Matt Damon look. Yeah. He, Cam ain't playing. Cam went and got him a little, little, little. He went to the projects a couple times. Cam had him a little chocolate over yeah. on Crenshaw before. I'm telling you, he dipped over there before. Yeah, I believe it. You know what I'm saying? And, but shout out to Cam Girl, though, because you know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, hey, shit, what yeah. the fuck I is going on, Cam? I keep motherfuckers under yeah. the bus. <laughs> she watched this. Is, oh, so you, you had some chocolate, Cam, yeah, over you, on Crenshaw? So, yeah. <laughs> you had some black vagina. China cam, how fucking dare you? <laughs> and I loved it. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> that's why, you know what I'm saying? That's that that's exactly the reason, no, you know. I believe Cam alone, man. <laughs> Cam looked like a player though. I ain't gonna lie, he got a five o'clock shadow yeah, going Cam's on. Cam sitting there like, okay, well maybe one time <laughs> on a night that you know what I'm saying, I've had some chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but he said on his Instagram though that all the real niggas have wives. No, Nori said that. Who? Nori. Oh, Nori said that. Yeah. And you agree with him? I, mean, I don't. I don't know if you're real or not. If you got a wife, I know there's a lot of unhappy niggas with wives. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of times when you get a wife, it plays out like this, right? When you first get her, right, you meet her. Oh, y'all first move in together. Y'all not married yet. Yeah. You can come home. You can wake up any time of the night. She. Oh, wait, hold on, babe. Wait. Ah. Then when she's like, when you marry her, then it's like, I got you, nigga. Yeah. Got by the balls. Now you might have sex once a week, mm -hmm. maybe twice. Skip skip a week sometimes. You realize that it's only 52 fucking weeks in a year. So you, you, realize, you realize if you fuck me twice a week, that's 108 times, 104 times. And what's wrong with that? Out of a fucking year, 365 days, you fucked me 104 times. Yeah. You don't think nothing's yeah. wrong with that? I don't think nothing's wrong with that. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm just telling you, then <laughs> no, Taco yeah. Mel probably got some pussy on the side. <laughs> he better motherfucking not. Taco <laughs> Mel yeah, is loading them shells. <laughs> That nigga better be the only burrito he rapping is over here. Okay? Shit, Taco Mel, so we're like this right now. You know she only fucked me once a week. That's fifty-two times a year. I didn't say I did that. I'm just my saying dick, what's my wrong with it. My dick just be hard for no reason. It just <laughs> I just ride around and my dick get hard for no reason. What is we doing? <laughs> Everybody does a little something. You know what I'm saying? And everybody's dick. Some no, thing. you gotta fuck your man at least four times a week and some head on Saturdays. Like oh, the head day Saturday. Yeah, at least a hand job or something. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you know look, what? look, he know. Look, he like, yeah. Yeah. See, because my wife don't handle, she don't handle say so in this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your pussy. Sure. No, her, her <laughs> vagina is the cable box and my dick is the remote. 
<laughs> you know yeah, what? Yeah, I turned that motherfucker on. And, and she gonna off. turn the channel. Shit. Uh, she gonna turn that channel. She gonna uh, beep beep. Yep. <laughs> Change. Yeah, boom boom. Change. Uh, Shoot. Two right now is having fun. But I, first of all, where is two that? Nigga where is two that? At the hotel that? right now. At, I'm that nigga gonna wake you up. And guess who up. at the hotel? Tyrone. I'm not letting you sleep. I'm waking you up. And, and guess what? I'm waking your ass up. Two. Have fun with Tyrone right now while he's slide doing this. Right, slide right up in you from the back like a... Yeah. Like a DM. Two, a, a. You hear me? You know how you throw that top leg up on the angle. <laughs> Two this right now while Only we talking. Only thing is you got to prep your own piece. I don't really like prepping my own piece, man. Yeah, I don't look, really enjoy it. Yeah, look, you better prep that bitch in the kitchen. She, yeah, you got to prep your own piece, get him up. That, yeah, if you don't prep so you that get, motherfucking stays, you know what I'm saying? It don't, slide it don't cook right, right. in on a sleep joint. <laughs> <laughs> it don't cook right if you don't prep it. Wig but anyway, right but, but, but up. Two, have fun with Tyrone right now, because Giddy too got motherfucking confident. You fucking so, right. You better, hey, tell Tyrone right now it's, it's good. Let him know. Yeah, tell him me? Gilly about to hurry up and come back to the hotel. I'm letting you know, I too. I ain't worried about none of that. <laughs> yeah. He gonna call right now. Tyrone ain't putting no work in. <laughs> Tyrone said he's hitting every wall. <laughs> Tyrone ain't putting no fucking work in. <laughs> he said right now you're busy. That was back right in the day when they, when they used to believe in Tyrone. Yeah. That was back in the day. There's a nigga named Jamal now or something. <laughs> Who's Jamal? <laughs> they, they don't believe it. That's back in the day. She called yeah, Tyrone. Yeah, exactly. Erica's the one who said call Tyrone. Call him. Ain't no new niggas named Tyrone. They ain't, <laughs> that's old ass name. That's... Yeah, well, little These Jamal. These motherfuckers is Raheem and Jamal. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah Raheem, <laughs> Jamal. Whatever you want to call him. My fucking Chase. <laughs> I can't. I'm done. Okay. You know what? I appreciate you coming. You my solid. You're real as it gets. I fuck appreciate with you, you to the wheels fall I give, off. I give y'all in five minutes. I usually give motherfuckers 22 seconds. Nigga, you ain't going to give me a goddamn 22 <laughs> seconds of shit. Okay? I mean, um, give you a lot of years appreciate of Appreciate you for having um, me, man. Fuck with you. Believe it. I appreciate you for having me, man. I love you. Keep going up. You know. The same. Keep going up on their ass. Giving you flowers while you're here because I right, rock with you. because you the shit. You know what I mean? You been the shit. I appreciate you. You, you know, you, you the shit in the space that, you know. Gilly the kid. Ain't too many women in, in that space I, to I, be the shit. So, thank you. You know, I Y'all heard it you. from him. You know, Million it's tricky with Rock. Game. It's tricky with Raquel Harper. I 